Oh, wow, this, this game's a bit speedy for me. Oh, Jesus. Fuck you, Bowser. <laughs> Gee, I'm pretty fantastic at this game, aren't I? Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, no. I'm going around this corner too fast. I, I, I won't make it. I, uh, quick, initiate the pasta break. I'm actually playing this game on the PC. Living in the city. And this is just a knockoff Wiimote. My PC isn't even turned on. Also, I'm doing a collaboration this time. Ah! It's like a roller coaster. Sonic Team Racing is right around the corner. <laughs> like, a, like a car. It's a racing joke for you there. So I thought, what could be a better time than right now to go back and take a look at the Sonic Racing game that came... So I thought, what could be a better time than right now to look at the Sonic Racing game... Wow, okay. It was either this or Sonic Drift. I mean, you could take your pick on that one. Hang on, I, I can't handle reviewing an online racing game all by myself. I can't, I, I won't do it. So I'm gonna get all my friends together. All one of them. Hey, Neil, are you ready to play Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform together? Who is this? How do you know my name? And who is this Maria? I guess it's up to us, Smoopy and... And, uh... It cuts out the zero? Please fuck a 1442. Excuse me? Please fuck a 42. I'm angry. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. Wait, uh, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed? What happened to the Sega part? I mean, it looks like Sega's bringing in some guests this time around. Now, who have we got? I mean, uh, Smash Bros. Has third party characters from Mega Man and Metal Gear, Street Fighter, Final Fantasy, Persona, Bayonetta. Hey, those last two were published by Sega. I bet they're in here somewhere. <laughs> Team Fortress. Is. Is that Ralph? From. From Rick It Ralph? No, nothing could be weirder than Rick It Ralph. <laughs> Probably the most annoying character in the game. The sounds he makes are annoying as hell. This DLC made me unsubscribe from Yogg's cast. Genuinely painful. I like this DLC. So cool. And let's not forget this gym. All right, it's time for the best character in the game. <laughs> what the fuck is that model? So you get to the main menu screen and you see four options. But for today's video, these three don't exist. Actually, no, we'll be stopping off in the options for a second here. What? You're going the wrong way. Shame on you. Don't do this to me! This is my only job! Oh, 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 oh man, I, did, I didn't realize. Here, I'll, I'll keep you on, I'll keep you on. I'm loving the sound of my own voice. Get ready! Stun, fail, fireworks, stun, fail, stun, fail, triple flip, transform boost, hot rod, long fit, knights has gone all-star, swarm, air shot, triple swarm hit, long shot, boost, Today it's all about the custom games, that's right. Who wants to play with random strangers online when you have a singular friend? You get five ways to play in this game, four are useless. We're doing regular races today, now where's the Grand Prix option? No seriously, where is it? Turns out that the only way to do a Grand Prix is in single player mode, I mean how silly is that? What do you think of the silliness, Neil? Listen, you paid me to play with you, not acting your stupid video thing. You said we were playing Mario Kart. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. So we get into the game, me and Bleachfucker42. We pick our characters. So I go for Sonic for this one. I'll be working my way down the list. And it's on to Seaside Hill. You know, out of all the Sonic levels that could be reused over and over, I really wish it wasn't on the list. I really don't want to hate a level from Heroes. I mean, please, just stop with the overuse of certain levels. I get that it's a racing game, so of course you're going to pull from old levels. That's absolutely fine, but wasn't a Seaside Hill level in the last game? As well as Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics, and Sonic Generations, and Sonic Dash, and I know Forces was going to have it initially until they had to rush the crap out of that game, and... No, actually, you know what? I really like what they're doing with this game, so I'm not gonna be too harsh. I mean, nice choice in composers here. Crush 40 for the theme, June Sonoe, and Hyper Potions for the levels. Where's T Lopes, though? Where's he at? Oh, wait. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. That's it. This game's gonna be incredible. But Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, is it incredible? Well, there's gambling in it, so yes.
Neil was kind enough to record his footage as well, so if something funny happened to him, we'd be able to see it too. Hey, look, hey, look that's me, that's me! Man, I'm fucking owning him! Ocean View here is based on Seaside Hill, or more so Ocean Palace, an ancient civilization established on the sea. Your cars turn into boats on the last lap- WHAT?! THE CARS TURN INTO BOATS?! I'm feigning surprise for the video. I've actually played it before, you see. So they didn't actually bother getting in any of the voice actors to record new lines for this game, unlike Team Sonic Racing! HELL YEAH! GAME OF THE CENTURY! So throughout your drives, you'll hear random clips mashed together from different Sonic games. Like, like when Sonic gets hit, it'll be all like- Whoa! Which is also the death sound in Sonic Generations, or sometimes when he drifts he'll be all like ah! Those bees. Kind of ear grating, I'm not sure why they included that one. Another something you might notice is that the drifting is quite a bit different than, let's say, something like Mario Kart. It feels slippier, letting you slide around, and you can even keep the charge you've got going on by letting go of the drift button and then quickly pressing the drift button again and changing direction. For such a fast-paced game like this, it actually works really well. But it does have a learning curve. <laughs> Well, it's on to the next level. Uh, let's just change it, shall we? Uh, what do I have to press here? Uh, the only one that makes sense here is uh, options. Okay. And I have to pick a race again. And then I have to pick the set of four that I want. And then the track itself. Then the difficulty of the CPUs. Uh, and now we're ready to play a different track. And you have to do this every time. I mean, why isn't there just a track selection option on here? Why do I have to go through every single option again when all I want to do is just go to the next track? Anyway, the next level is a Samba de Amigo themed track, one of Sega's many forgotten monkeys, and it's got one of the best songs in the game. Listen to this shit. Go Blowfish. I got hit by my own Blowfish. <laughs> Speaking of Blowfish. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, don't, don't let me say- Oh, I hit myself by my own Blowfish again. What are these items? You know how in Mario Kart they have items like the Koopa shells, bullet bills, fire flowers, you know, things from Mario? Heck, Team Sonic Racing uses the Wisps, which I'll go on record saying is a very good use for them, unlike in Lost World, but uh, here we have uh, Snowball, okay, the Fireworks, the Drone, alright, Blowfish, as mentioned before, uh, Hot Rod, Glove, just a glove, Swarms of wasps, which kind of act like a blue shell, I guess. If a blue shell was a bunch of blue shells sitting stationary on the track ahead of you. Uh, Twister, and uh, finally, the all-star move. Now, I think all of these items were made specifically for this game, and I mean, that's okay. I'm not saying it's bad or anything. It's just really weird. I mean, the blowfish. Why the blowfish? However, I will commend them on how they're done. Uh, for what items there are, there always seems to be a way to dodge, outwit, or just plain destroy most of the items thrown at you for the majority of the time. That's what the glove's for, actually, but even with things like the drone, which is one of the two lock-on items in the game, uh, there's a few ways to beat it, from destroying it and catching it, boosting away at the right time, to even just swerving hard enough it might get confused and target someone else. And items like the firework and snowball don't lock on at all. This means there's a lot less bullshit moments like in Mario Kart. If you get hit by the swarm, and most of the time it's your fault that you didn't dodge them well enough. Or if you get hit by a wall after being twisted around by the twister, it's because you just didn't handle the reverse controls very well. Or if you get hit by your own blowfish, that's your fault too. The All-Star, on the other hand, is the random chance item which gives you invincibility and super speed. And until I saw Neil use his, a special move on top of that. And this whole time I've been playing the campaign by myself, I had never used a special move once. I mean, Neil, what exactly prompted you to press the item button while using an All-Star? Cheesy, vomit -loving fuck. If someone gets an all-star, the music changes to what represents their theme the best. Like, uh, Knuckles has an instrumental of his rap from Adventure. Sonic has the colors theme, okay. Tails has... Where's my all-star? <laughs> Whose all-star is that? Not mine. Sounds like, sounds like Sonic Adventure. Yo, hurry up, man. It's Two Toot Sonic uh -huh. Warrior, so it could be Sonic. It's definitely not Sonic. As Sonic just ate shit. So. He's got the Sonic Adventure Invincible theme? Why not his best theme? Gotta get a hold of my life. I wanna fly high. So I can reach the highest of all the heavens. Not to mention if two people get an all-star at the same time, something magical happens. Oh, an all-star, sweet. For some reason, while well, I'm coming to play an all-star. Yeah, I'm right behind you with an all-star. I haven't actually played more than 20 seconds of the original Sega and all-stars racing, but I can tell you just from YouTube clips that the original all-stars were far more inventive. I, I mean, Sonic goes from being super to 
having some rings around him. I, what? The next level up's Carrier Zone from Afterburner, and Neil's finally fixed his name. Also, we keep picking BD Joe for some reason. You've been going through every wow, single Wow, racist game. Gives me the watermelons. You can also do a bit of flying in this level, which is a thing. It's the least involved of all the transformations, but you do get that extra Y-axis, so I guess it makes up for it with all that math. I like saw fireworks, like bouncing off everything coming towards me, and I'm just like, oh no. Another thing about the menus that I forgot to mention, you have to re-pick your character after every race. For someone like me who was constantly switching characters, it wasn't bad, but for Bleach Fucker 420, over here who just wanted BD Joe and BD Joe only. It was a bit of a nightmare. Neil, I I've been thinking, uh, throughout this whole game, you really only ever picked BD Joe. Why? I mean, his name literally stands for Bad Driver. And if it doesn't, it should. Neil? We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Oh. I'm gonna be I I this time. Aye aye, Captain. Aye aye, Captain. I don't even have any mods for it. I can't hear you. Zero. I'm fucked, man. <laughs> I'm bleach fucked. 420! <laughs> oh, I got the watermelons! <laughs> what are you saying that- what are you saying that black men are monkeys? <laughs> Fucking racist game. Dragon Canyon's up next. It's got driving, flying, boating the lot. Dr. Eggman. I landed on a bee. Nice! Angry. <laughs> I caught a- I caught a blowfish. Will it kill you? also includes many heart attacks. Oh, I'm second! Eggman's at first! Oh shit, somebody hit me with a tornado. Oh god, please, please. Oh god. Oh god, I'm driving backwards. I I learn how to drive. Get fucked! Monkey. Fast. No! Bleach fucker 420! Not again! Did I mention we were playing on the hardest difficulty? Because these races aren't no joke! So when one of us actually finally won a race... No! Please! Yeah! I won. <laughs> you won? I won! What the fuck? <laughs> it was pretty friggin' surprising. Next up is the Super Monkey Ball map, and in this map I learned the secret technique. The Backwards Strip! How do I boost backwards? That's not a thing. What? I boosted backwards. What? But that wasn't the only revelation I had this race. Wait, you can attack? What? You can attack when you have an all-star? Yeah. What the fuck? We've got a pretty cool level up next. Is this Rainbow Road? No. <laughs> You uncultured swine! <laughs> Starlight Carnival from Sonic Colors is here and nice. Oh, network error. Now we've got a brand new level from Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. That's right, everybody. Get ready for Sekiro 2, All-Stars Racing Transformed. Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Fuck. Sekiro's really fucking fast-paced. Say that. I mean, everyone says that it's really hard, but like... I don't know. I just was watching a boss drive into a wall, so uh... This is also the best level for my extra, extra special advanced technique. Uh, that being the uh, super moon gravity. Glitch. No, what happened? What just happened? I know you're not here just to see the ha-ha funny moments with Neil playing the game. And I mean, if you are here for that, I mean, why don't I just make a goddamn gaming video? I mean, gotta please that algorithm! So apart from the levels left, I mean, what else is there to talk about? Uh, apart from the single player and other modes which no one really cares about, although heck, even the spin-off game has Chow in it. Sonic Team, where's your Chow at in the main series titles? There's really not that much else here. I mean, not to say that that's bad, rather that what you have here is what you'd kind of have if you reviewed Mario Kart. It's just a fun kart racer. It'd be nice if it had some more characters. I, I know I haven't unlocked everyone yet, but to be honest, after looking up who they are, I don't really care enough to even try. Would it have been possible to put in characters like Bayonetta or Hatsune Miku? How about Victor Man? Oh, heck yeah, I gotta do a review on his game. So, oh shit, what about Flicky? Put him in the game. Can't forget about everyone's favorite character, Comic Zone. That's right, where's he at? Um, who else? Uh, uh, the Ooze, the Ooze. They actually didn't bother bringing back a couple of the characters I did know from the last racing game, like the Choo Choo's and Billy Hatcher. I mean, that's kind of weird when you think about it. Aside from that and the whole track select crap going on, this game is still a good load of fun. I mean, good God, no Neil and I had a fucking blast. I'm gonna kill Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Rick at Ralph 4, Ralph dies. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's Rick at Ralph 4. And then just the subtitle Nathan quotes, I'm gonna kill Ralph. <laughs> it's like oh, Penelope with like a knife. <laughs> Like a bad 3D model of yeah. her. <laughs> yeah. With like black eyes and yeah. like red, red pupil. It's just a creepy pasta. A blood dripping the creepy pasta. <laughs> .exe. It's just, an, it's, just an, it's just an audiobook. <laughs> .exe. <laughs> Are you okay? I wanna be like you. I wanna 
talk like you. Stalk like you do. Jesus Christ. Here's where you have oh. fun, dude. Oh, yep. Oh, fuck. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I actually have to break. Daddy, launch me off the side. <laughs> Daddy. Treat me like fucking scum and throw me off the edge. Spit on me, Daddy. <laughs> oh, God. Amy's, got, Amy's right behind you. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> no! oh. So, I would give this game my seal of recommendation. I mean, especially if you've got some friends who want to play it with you, because, I mean, I don't know how the servers are going to be doing after Team Sonic Racing comes out. Now, there are a crap ton of levels I actually left down, and a bunch of funny moments which we just didn't have time for in this video, I'm afraid. But if you want to see them and Neil and my reactions to them, uh, feel free to click in the end card. There'll be a video at the end, or maybe there'll be, like, something up here, I think. I don't know how YouTube works anymore. It's a compilation of all the funny moments that we had during this recording session, so uh, there are plenty more zingers in there, so if you enjoyed this video, feel free to check it out. And with that, it uh, looks like that's the end of the video. Uh, Neil seems to have blocked my number, so uh, I guess I'll have to ask someone else about their opinion on Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. Hey, Sonic! <laughs> he seems to be here. <laughs> what do you know? That's a coincidence. Uh, uh, Sonic, what do you think about Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, huh? <laughs>